Hello, this is uh, an OCR P4 question, OCR Gateway Additional Science or OCR Gateway Physics. This one's about mains, electricity and safety with it. I feel as a desktop computer, it has a 5 amp wire fuse, so this is about fuses, in the plug. What could be the consequence of re replacing a 5 amp fuse with a 13 amp fuse? So, this is key information here. Fuses are designed to melt when the current is higher than the rating. So if the current was higher than 5 amps, then the fuse will melt. But if you replace it with a 13 amp fuse, then it wouldn't melt until it got over 13 amps. Now that can cause consequences to the uh, appliance, which is protected by the fuse. It's also a safety feature, because it also cuts the current if it gets too high. Have a little think about what you could say. What could be the consequence of replacing a 5 amp fuse with a 13 amp fuse? Have a little go. Pause the video. Well, I think from the bit that I just told you, the first point you should be making is that the 13 amp fuse would not melt. if the current was too high for the computer. Well, what does that mean? If the current was too high for the computer, well, that could actually damage the computer. Uh, you could also say it, it would overheat the computer or actually, and this used to be a problem with early computers, you could actually get a fire in the computer or because of the computer. I think that's that's the main one there. Remember, it's not the, the 13 amp fuse would get too hot or cause a fire, it's the computer that would have the problem because the current would be too high for it. Part B then. Phil also has a kettle and a hairdryer. The kettle has three wires connecting it to the main supply. The hairdryer only has two wires connecting it to the main supply. Two wires are brown and blue. So the brown wire is the live wire and the blue wire is the neutral wire. So it's missing that third wire. The third wire is the yellow and green wire. It's kind of half yellow, half green. I hope you remember what it is. It's a safety wire. In a plug it's called the earth wire. Okay, it's another safety feature in our mains electricity. Appliances with only two wires are called double insulated and this symbol is shown on the appliance. <coughs> Excuse me. It's double insulated, it's like two boxes, two insulating boxes. Explain why the, the insulated, sorry, a double insulated pipe does not need a third wire. Think about what I've just said, what that third wire might do, and why it might be different if it's a double insulated device. Okay, have a little go at that, have a pause. The first mark in this case is actually for just explaining what that third wire is. So the third wire is an earth wire. Okay, you don't need to explain exactly what earthing is or does. I'll tell you. Uh, earthing is a path of very, very low resistance where the current will go if there's a problem with the appliance. It means that it's more like the current is more likely to flow through the earth wire than it is to flow through the appliance, or some uh, a person or anything like that. So it's a safety feature. It means the current doesn't go through people if there's a fault with the device. Then the second part is well, what does double insulating actually mean? Well, the, the think about the kettle and the hair dryer. The kettle is probably, if it's not double insulated, made out of metal, which is a conductor. But most hair dryers are made out of plastic. 
So double insulated devices are made of insulators or they're made of plastics usually. So the second mark is for saying that a double insulated device, or you could say the hairdryer, is made of an insulator or you could say plastic. Okay, thank you. I hope that helped. Let's go on to the next uh, question.